So are you saying that we'll, we'll be wearing some sort of a sensor in our brain, whether it's a externally sort of visible sensor or in the future it's embedded in the brain kind of sensor, and that will send signals to, say, a computer, which then in turn control the device. Is that how it works? Yeah, it's pretty same, but to give a uh, simple example, we have the IoT uh, devices where the application will interact with the hardware devices. That's the IoT mm-hmm. technology where you can have your mobile application that can actually talk to your home device, uh, home appliances such as uh, TV or uh, AC, again you have the voice control devices that can do the same thing where the hardware will collect your voice and convert it into an actionable item. So what we are looking at uh, is something similar where you have the sensors that is placed around your brain so that collects all of your brain data and then converts that data into an actionable item so that it can be communicated with any hardware devices or any smart devices. You want that aircon to know that it needs to turn on because Correct. you know you had a tired day. Correct. And you want your geezer to turn on hot water for you mm. or a coffee maker mm. to make you a good coffee for you. Um, privacy and the protection of this very, very personal sensitive data is going to be a huge issue. Yes, that, that was the reason even I addressed that in my presentation. There are four things that we need to look at. One is uh, security. Of course, that should be a major concern. And then privacy. Again, we should never breach privacy policy. And then legal. This is where we come up with the policy frameworks to make sure that all the security and privacy controls are in place. And the last and final one would be ethical. How ethical the individual organization or the companies that is building this particular mm-hmm. prototypes or the products playing with the data of one's individual. So one area to explore or to perhaps uh, think about is where are all this information, does it have to be stored somewhere for this to work? Yeah, correct. Uh, so everything will be stored uh, somewhere, but again, uh, the thing is, it will be uh, bits and bytes, right? zeros and ones after all. But uh, down the line, when we have a lot of, you know, when we uh, get advanced more into technology, you can even have a storage device within your brain. So it is not going anywhere. Right. Your brain. So 10, 15 years from now. Yeah, Satish. we are looking at it, definitely. Okay, so I look forward to that day. Uh, when that day happens, we don't have to do podcasts anymore. We can just <laughs> sit and look at each other and understand what each other is saying. Correct, That'll be exactly. quite exciting. <laughs> Yeah, so that's what's going to take us to the next level. That's right, yeah. Technology, when put to great use, has uh, um, shown to really help us progress and develop other aspects of our lives. So, yes, you're, you're right. Thank you, Satish. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you for your time.